MGF Whalers and Struts are easy to assemble, two-sided hydraulic bracing systems designed to be used in conjunction with steel trench sheets. They are ideal for bracing trenches typically encountered in utilities type work. MGF have a wide range of whalers available to suit a variety of different applications from ultra lightweight manhandleable GRP through to heavy duty steel options. This guide covers all products with the exception of Gripshaw and 152UC whalers which have their own safe system of work. Reference should be made to MGF technical file which provides information on all of the individual systems, their weights, safe working loads and possible configurations. Assembly commences by laying the whaler rails on timber skids. Bolt required extensions to the ends of the hydraulic struts using four M10 bolts and fully tightened nuts. Place the valve end of the hydraulic whaler struts into position as required by design. Support the strut to avoid any sudden movements which could cause injury. Secure strut in place with a 16mm diameter pin and R clip. With the struts in position, place the opposing rail over the struts, ensuring the ends of the rails are flush with each other, then secure with pins and R clips. MGF Whaler struts contain single acting hydraulic cylinders and should be used in conjunction with a single acting MGF bucket pump. The bucket pumps are supplied with the relevant hoses and Horto Safe biodegradable hydraulic shoring fluid. Prior to use, check there is sufficient hydraulic fluid within the bucket. If low, top up with the required water and Hortosafe mixture. Hortosafe can be diluted with water to produce seasonal mixtures as detailed in the technical file. Before connecting the two-way bridle, make sure the bucket pump is in neutral. The female hydraulic connector connects to the male hydraulic connector on the whaler strut. Once both ends are connected, the flow regulator switch on the bucket pump should be turned to active and open the isolation valves on the whaler struts with two turns anti-clockwise. Struts can now be pumped out to the required width, leaving adequate clearance for lowering into the trench. Now the isolation valves on the struts should be closed with two turns clockwise before the flow regulator switch on the bucket pump is turned to off. For four-sided trench support, see NSA Strut Safe System of Work for configurations and details of how to assemble them. Repeat this process for any additional frames required. The following installation guidance is based on the push and dig method. An alternative lowering frames safe system of work is available on the MGF website. Installation commences by excavating to a maximum of 1000 millimeters below ground level. The frame can now be lifted either by hand, if safe to do so, or by using an MGF standard four-leg chain. Multiple whaler frames can now be lowered into the excavation, one on top of the other. Timber packing may be required to get the top frame to its required level. With the top frame at the correct level, the sheet can start to be piled using the frame as a guide. The sheet must be handled and pitched using an MGF pitching shackle. Install four corner sheets using the frame as a guide. The sheet should be pushed gently into the trench using the excavator boom. Sufficient tow must be provided to ensure sheets cannot slip or slide. Ideally the sheet should be driven so that the top of the sheet is accessible from ground level. Restraining chains should now be connected between the top of the four trench sheets top whaler frame lift points. The length of the chains will need to be adjusted as installation continues. The top frame can now be pumped out to a maximum pressure of 1500 psi to fully preload the sheets against the ground. Before switching hydraulic hoses to the next frame, close the isolation valves to lock in the hydraulic pressure with two turns clockwise. Ensure the flow regulator switch on the bucket pump is turned to neutral. The remaining sheets can now be pitched and driven along each side of the excavation. Backfill up against the sheets at the ends of the whalers. To further drive the sheets, MGF driving caps or MGF drive safe will need to be used. These will protect the sheet ends from damage. The remaining sheets can now be driven 
as far as possible. Only access the excavation via a secured ladder or a safely battered end. It is now possible to excavate beneath the level of the lower frame to the required level of the next frame. When the required depth is reached, the next frame can be pumped out to preload the sheets against the ground and restraining chains between frames installed. For additional frames, repeat the previous steps. Excavating can continue until formation level is reached, making sure that the sheets are driven to the depth specified by design. Whalers and struts should always be installed square and plumb, ensuring contact with all inward facing trench sheet pans. If this is not possible, then any gaps must be securely packed with hardwood wedges prior to final preloading of frames. Shoring safety equipment can now be installed. Subject to a final inspection, the excavation is now safe to enter. Removal is a reverse of the installation sequence with a continuous backfill and lifting operation. When backfill levels reach the underside of the frame, reconnect the bucket pump and open the lock-off valves. Hydraulic rams should then be retracted to prevent damage when removing the frame. Repeat this last step until excavation is completely backfilled and ground reinstated.